all about learning how to love. Ulitin ko ha. Life is all about learning how to love. When we get to heaven, we only do two things. Ilang things? We only do two things. Number one, we will worship God forever. Non-stop. We will be prancing around like nuts. We will be singing at the top of our lungs. Non-stop. Kung dito wala ka sa tono, kung umakanta ka rito, kalat-kalat ang nota, na kapag nag-worship, bibigyan ka ng ulis, but pakiwalis mo nga, kalat-kalat yung nota na kanta mo. Doon, okay. Pasado ka, magagamot niya. So we will worship God with our lives. Number two, ang gagawin natin is we will love one another. Non-stop. Yan lang ang dalawang gagawin natin forever. The feast is practice time for both. That's what the feast is all about. Practice time for both. God wants us to value our relationships and make an effort to heal them instead of discarding them kapag hindi na nag-work. Yung you give it up, itatapon mo, ibabasura mo. Nothing hurts God more than this one. Okay? Whenever we are having rift or conflicts or hurt, status, ibabalibag mo na lang ito na parang walang nangyari. Sabi ng misis sa mister niya, Hudas ka, lagi ka na lang umuwi na sa'y nakasar na ako tuloy sa buka mo. So, magot naman si Mr. sabi niya, pero mahal, kung hindi naman ako maglalasing, ako naman ang mahasal sa mga <laughs> The Bible has given us the ministry of restoring relationships. In fact, significant amount of the New Testament is devoted to this teaching. Mapapansin niyo ito pa ulit-ulit. How to get along with each other. That's what the Bible teaches in the Gospels and even in the letters by Paul. If you want to do a thankless job, mag serve as a feast. Amen. If you want to do a thankless job, mag serve as a feast. In fact, I'm going to say, I'm going to build up. Because I'm going to build up. May lalapit sa aking nanay, alam mo, Brad, ito ang anak ko na yan, na five years old yan, pero magiging builder. Kasi yung nakikita mo na yung nasa harap lang, yung nagtutok ba, hindi nila alam 5% lang ng trabaho yan. Hmm. But if the work is hearing and listening to people, going to the ICU, listening to people's hurts, journeying with people, empathizing with them, meron po akong mabigat na nasabihin sa inyo, ha, tanongin niyo ako ano, I know. Being part of the community has given me the worst pains in my heart. Because that they touch me, people bahala sa mga sabuwe nila. They cannot hurt you because you're you're far. But here you have given your heart and your life to brothers and sisters, and boy, believe me, they can hurt you. Kung naalala niyo ang geometry, kapag five sides ang 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 shape. Anong tawag dyan? Pentagon. Di ba, no? So kapag ang polygon ay 10 sides, anong tawag dyan? Decagon. Eh kapag 100 sides ang shape, anong tawag dyan? May ganun. <laughs> <laughs> Bakit ko sinabi yan? Alam niyo yung salitang may ganun? Dito ko lang natutunan yan kasi. Pag nasa community ka, dyan ka, may ganun pala. May nangyayari pa nun ba? No? Relationship issues na merong ganun pala na hindi mo alam kaya gawin ng tao sa'yo. Di ba? And Paul, in his letters, taught us the ability to get along with others. And it's so important. Tanangin niyo ako, bakit? Bakit? Because it is the mark of spiritual maturity. Ulitin ko ha, it is the mark of spiritual maturity. Madaling matutunan yung iba. But getting along with brothers and sisters requires spiritual maturity. The Bible says, by this shall all men will know that you are my disciples if you can preach the word. Tama? Mali. Ang sabi, by this they will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Conversely, ito naman ang sasabihin ko, if you want God's blessing in your life, if you want to be the child of God, You must learn to be a peacemaker. 
The Bible said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Please notice, in this not been Jesus, Blessed are the peace lovers, because everybody loves peace. Wala pa naman akong nakikita ng tao eh, na ayaw ng peace. Of course, may mga tao, paminsan-minsan lalapit sa iyo, Brad, ano bang gusto mo? Away o gulo? <laughs> Sasagot ka naman, gulo naman, Brad, para walang away. <laughs> The Bible also did not say, blessed are the peaceable. Kasi, uh, may mga tao naman that they never, never disturbed by anything. Malalim. Wala pa kayo lang minsan. But Jesus said, blessed are those who work for peace. Ulitin ko. Blessed are those who work for peace. Those are working for peace. They actively seek to resolve conflict. Peacemakers or rare. Tell me you're back here. Because peacemaking is hard work. It is hard work. Mas madali pagyabang ni. Naturo nga naturo sa akin yun di. Di ba? Some misconceptions about peacemaking. Number one, peacemaking is not avoiding conflict. Peacemaking is not running away from a problem pretending that it does not exist. Or being afraid to talk about these things. It is actually called this in the end peacemaking. Ha? Jesus, the Prince of Peace, was never afraid of conflict. Hinaharap niya, pero hinaayos niya. Number two, peacemaking is not also appeasement. Yung pagbigyan mo na lang lahat, tapos ikaw na lang, ikaw na lang, parang dormat ka na lang, yung lahat ng tumingan tao, sasaluhin mo na lang. May humingi ng payo minsan, isang babae sa friend niya, sabi mo, alam mo, sister, um, yung dati kong classmate, uh, na babae, tumuntuwa sa akin, ang bait-bait ko daw, ang daming lahat na yung bagay, hinihiram niya sa akin, pumapayan naman ako, pag underwear ko, hinihiram ang blouse, lipstick, toothpaste, gabi-gabi ginagamit niya ang kotse ko, kasama pa ang mister ko. <laughs> Kaya lang minsan ko makain kami natansin ko, suot-suot niya yung pustisa ko. <laughs> Sa palagay mo, sister, dapat magalit na lako. Hindi. Hindi ko siya nasabi ng peacemaking, hindi ka kay Gibo, tapos aabusuhin ka na lang ng lahat. Hindi peacemaking yan, pagiging utong-utong ito. <laughs> That's not what Jesus has in mind. Jesus refused to back down with many issues. He's standing his ground in the face of evil and opposition. But he was seeking Peace. What does that mean? How do we restore relationships now? The Bible says God has called us to settle our relationships with each other. And I'll be sharing with you seven biblical steps to restoring relationships. Ilang biblical steps? Para wang yung makalimutan, ang gagamitin kong acronym, RESTORE. Yung word na RESTORE. R-E-S-T-O-R-E. RESTORE. First R. Rest in the Lord. So, may sabay sabihin. Rest in the Lord. Anong hindi kong sabihin dito? Talk to God before talking to the person who hurt you. Yes, when you talk to God, it gets you to buy time. Nakakahinga ka. Napanood nyo ba yung movie? Nakita kita. Napalas na ba dito yan? Okay, but so interesting. Uh, to be honest with you, that's, that's one movie I felt that uh, one of the best screenplays that I've seen. Amazing script. Yung hindi po kailangan ng mga mamahalin na to come up with real artistry. Amazing script. Ang, ang nakita ko dyan, yung nakakatuwa sila, yung nagbibilang sila 1 to 10, di ba, bago mong salita. Di ba, ano, bibilang mo na. But that's not what I'm talking about. Bagamat nakakatulong ito, more than that, you want to discuss the problem with God. When somebody hurts you in our community, discuss the problem with God. If you will pray about the conflict first, instead of gossiping to a friend. Kasi yun ang normal na default. Oh, what? Jesus mo ka agad sa nas. Wisit mo siya mo. If you pray to God first, things could have, could, could have been handled better. Brad, revise ko ka ba? 
sabihin na lang sa bakit, kasi ang kapal ng feeling mo. <laughs> When you pray to God, you, you will discover that either God changes your heart or He changes the heart of the other person without your help. Kesa gumanat ka kagad at sumugod ka. All your relationships could go smoother if you take this path. If you just pray more about it. This is what David did in the book of Psalms. Pansinin mo ang book of Psalms. Puro rekulaan mo yan ni David. And dyan, dyan ako natutuwa at naniniwala kung bakit totoo ang Biblia. Tanong niyo kung bakit. Bakit? It's so human. Hindi yan sanitized. Ito ang human experience na kalagay dito. At itinataas lahat ni David. He tells God about his frustrations. He cries out to God and I have news for you. Tanongin niyo kung ano. God is never surprised or upset by your anger, by your heart, by your hurt, your insecurity, or any other emotions that you feel. You tell God exactly how you feel. Most of the conflicts we have in, as brothers and sisters are rooted in unmet needs. May expectation ka sa kapatid mo. Hindi na fulfill ang expectations. You have needs. The needs are not fulfilled. Then you get hurt. There's conflict. Because you get other people to satisfy the needs that only God can satisfy Hanapin mo sa iba, a friend, a spouse, a boss, a member, of the, a brothers and sisters, a meeting that only God can fulfill. Kapag ginawa mo ito, you're setting yourself up for a big disappointment, my friend. No one can meet all of our needs except God. Amen. James, in the New Testament, noted that many of our conflicts are caused by prayerlessness. Well, you can pass some this by. What was this fight and quarrels among you? You want something but don't get it. You do not have because you do not ask God. Instead of looking to God, we look to others to make us happy. Then we get frustrated. We get angry. God says, "Kasi naman hindi mo hinanap sa ating muna." Sa Pilipinas, may Juni Jinkiel, sinita ng polis at sabi, Hoy, that's against the law. Sagot yung mama, No, this is against the world. <laughs> We see it as uh, if we only come before God and say, Lord, I need your help. Things can be a little easier. Rest in the Lord. Number two, engage. So by so engage. Engage. Take the initiative to engage. Take the initiative. Pwede mo sabay sabay sabihin, take the initiative? Take the initiative to engage. It doesn't matter where you, it doesn't matter kung ikaw ang na-offend or ikaw ang offending party. It doesn't matter. You always get blessed when you make the first move. Amen. When you, get God, you always get blessed when you make the first move. Amen. God, by the way, expects you. That's what the Bible teaches. Don't wait for the other party to do it. Go to them first. Alam niyo ba that the restoring relationships is so important? That Jesus commanded you and me that it takes even priority before worship. He said, Bago ka, before you enter into worship, Bago ka magtaas ng kamay at kumanta ng mga awitin, Bago ka nga mangurusi at pumunta sa misa, You're about to make an offering. This is what the Bible said. And suddenly you remember a grudge against a friend. You have to abandon your offering. Leave imme immediately. Go to this friend and make things right. Then and only then you can come back and work things out with God in worship. When the relationship is strained or broken, this is my recommendation. Plan a peace conference immediately. 
So basically, so be in peace conference. Peace, peace conference. conference. Please don't misunderstand me. When I say plan a peace conference immediately, you also want to respect the emotional process of the person. Pag nanggalit na galit pa, magbayaan mo muna. Huwag mo yung pilit. Bigyan mo ng panahon to cool down, to simmer down, nasasaktan ba eh. But my point as well is don't delay. Respect the emotional process, but don't delay. Tanongin niyo ako bakit? Delay only deepens resentment. Ito ang napansin ko about resentment. Tanongin niyo ako, no? Ano no? When it comes to resentment, time heals nothing. Time heals nothing. Again, we respect the other person's process. We don't bully them. Yung paglumapit ka, nagsorry na nga eh, hindi ka pa nagpapatawad. Diba? <laughs> you, you respect the process. But you don't delay either. The success of a peace conference often depends on the right time, in the right place to meet, not when both of you are tired, timing is always everything. Not during the time when you are rushing or you will be interrupted. The best time is when both of you are at your best. S. Sympathize with their feelings. Somebody, somebody, somebody sympathize with their feelings. Sympathize with their feelings. When you restore broken relationships, you use your ears more than your mouth. Only can call you use your ears more than your mouth. Before attempting to solve any disagreement, you must first listen to the people's <coughs> feelings. Somebody, 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 feelings. 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 May tatlong baliw na nag-uusap. Sabi ng isa, ako ang presidente ng Pilipinas. Sagot naman yung isa, ha, ako ang presidente ng Amerika. Sagot naman yung isa, yung presidente ng Pilipinas. At sino naman ang nagsabi sa inyo niya? Sagot yung number two. E di ang Diyos, sabi naman ni number three, hoy ha, wala akong sinasabi sa yung ganyan. <laughs> Para bang feeling mo Diyos ka at hindi ka nagkakamali, di ba? Ang unang gagawin mo, makinig ka muna. You put your hand on your mouth. Philippians chapter 2 verse, Do not justify yourself, please. Shut up. Don't say anything. Just listen. Philippians chapter 2 verse 4 says, Look out for one another's interests not just your own. The phrase in the sexual version of the Bible, look out for. I know you can say in Greek, nang look out for, dito galing, ang word na ginamit sa Greek, is kopos. Skopos. I know you can say skopos, dyan galing ang word na telescope. Skopos. Telescope. Microscope. It means pay Close attention. Pay close attention to their feelings, not with the facts. Only to go. Pay close attention to the feelings, not with the facts. Begin with sympathy, not with solutions. Begin with sympathy, not with solutions. Don't try to talk people out on how they feel first. Just listen. Let them unload emotionally. Don't be defensive. Mapapaliwanag ka kada, hindi ka ilagan. Ang paliwanag mo, ha? kung seryoso ka, naayusin ito. Nod that you understand. You may disagree, but you nod because you understand the feeling. You don't have to agree. But you nod because you understand the feelings. Feelings are not always facts. For crying out loud, they're feelings. Feelings may not be logical. Kaya nga feelings eh. 
Resentment makes us feel and ultimately makes us act foolish. David admitted in the book of Psalms, sabi niya, when my thoughts and my feelings were hurt, I was as stupid as an animal. That's the reality. We all act beastly when we are hurt. In contrast, Proverbs chapter 19, verse 11, and on Sabi said, Pakipasa sa Pisabay, a man's wisdom gives him patience. It is to his glory to overlook an offense. Patience comes from wisdom. Wisdom comes from hearing. Ulitin ko, patience comes from wisdom. Wisdom comes from hearing. Pag naintindihan mo na, mas madaling para sa iyo. You understand the perspective of others. And when every time I listen, I don't have to say it, but the person feels that you're saying, I value your feelings, I value your opinion, I care about this relationship, and you matter to me. You matter to me. And the cliche is always true. You poster some of business establishment, and I'm saying the Jan, tell me I know. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Tama o tama? Wala pala kayong choice, no? T, take responsibility. Sabay-sabay sabihin. Take responsibility. Anong ibig kong sabihin dito? Confess your part of the conflict. Confess your part of the conflict. May isang bata, minsan nagdarasal, narinig ng tatay niya, sabi ng bata, Lord, sana po, si Jose Rizal na lang po ang pumatay kay Magellan. Amen. Sabi ng tatay na, bakit naman ganyan ang dasal mo? Sabi ng bata, kasi po ita, yan po ang sagot ko sa history test kanina. <laughs> Mali ka na nga, ibibilit mo pang itama. Mali nga eh. Mali nga yung sinasabi mo, nagpapaliwanan ka pa. Diba? O, tingin dito sa akin. Nakatingin ba kayo? Nakatingin kayo ha? Baka naman may mali ka rin. Kasi natural niya na ang feeling mo siya ang baloy pero baka naman may mali ka rin. Huwag mo ipilit na siya lang ang mali. Di ba? If you're serious about restoring a relationship, you should begin with admitting your own mistakes and your own sin. Ang tawag dyan, self-awareness. Dapat aware ka. In fact, Jesus said it so clearly when He said, we don't see things properly. Ano sabi niya? First, get rid of the log from your own eye, then perhaps you will see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. Could it be na may nakaharam na troso dyan sa mata mo? We all have blind spots. Sabay 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 blind spots. Blind spots. You may need to ask a third party to help you evaluate your own actions. Hindi mo palagi nakikita ito. Dati may tumawag sa akin sa kasama, Uy, pretty boy! Hindi ko dati nakikita yan, nag-wapo ako. So, pati had to tell me. Amen. Kasi humble lang ako eh. Yan, yung kayabangan, walang matasang ang tawag ko yan. Before meeting with the other person with whom you have a conflict, ask God to show you how much of the problem is your fault. Ask a friend who trusts you na kaya kang bumjakin, not your fans, but your real friends who would tell you, am I the problem? At dapat ready ko. May mali ba sa ginawa ko? Am I unrealistic? Am I too insensitive? The Bible was saying, if we claim that we are free from sin, we're only fooling ourselves. And confession is a powerful tool for reconciliation. If you admit right away, often the way we handle conflict, itong napansin ko dito, at ang medyo ako ano? The way we handle conflict, more often than not, create and creates an even bigger problem. Problema na ng conflict, tapos ayusin ko, eh mayabang ka, lalong lumalaki eh. Di ba 
Ano mong lumalaki? You create a bigger hurt than the original. <coughs> when you begin by humbly admitting your mistakes, maniwala ka, you diffuse the other person's anger. When you start admitting your mistake, when you say the three words, ilang words? Three. When you start with, I was wrong. Biglang nag tumatahimik yung galit ng kapila. Di ba, no? In this arms, their attack. Dati ready yan. Yung pagkaharap ka, ready yung sumapa. But when you say, I was wrong. Because they were probably expecting you to be on the defensive. Rarely, ito ang napansin ko. Tapos hindi ako ano. Ano? Ano? Rarely in a conflict, rare yung isa lang ang may sabi. Yung kasalanan lahat ng isa. Hindi nangyayari yan. Kung nangyayari man, rare. Madalas sa hindi, may participation pareho yan. Ang nakakatuwa dyan, yung feeling ng isa, siya yung kapi-kapi. <laughs> Di ba? Tapos, ikaw naman, feeling mo, ikaw din yung inapi. Pata ka ka, bakit pareho ka yung kapi-kapi? <laughs> Di ba? Tapos ang tingso mo, ang ah, maging ulilan. <laughs> Tapos, anong gagawin mo? Ikukwento mo ngayon sa light group. Inapi ako na itong ano. Yung light group naman, nakinig. Di ba? Sasali. Tatarayan na rin yung isa. Di ba? Sumasali. Pwede mong pakitapit ang friend sa kanan, repeat after me. Sabihan mo, friend. Friend. Kung doon. Repeat after me. Ha? Actually, yung friend luma na yan. Ito turo ng anak ko. Yes. Yes. Pag hindi malinaw, pag hindi malinaw, Huwag kang sasaw-saw. Huwag kang sasaw-saw. Diba? Yung iba. Sasali. Tapos makikisaw-saw. Hindi mo naman alam yung totoong story eh. Malarang si Hindi, yung kwento sa'yo, that's just his side of the story. May bahagi yan, hindi niya ikaw kwento sa'yo. May nakanggap ka ang text. Ito, kinuboy siya ng video. Hindi mo naman alam kung bakit siya nagkakalita ng text na gano'n. Hindi mo alam ang background ng story. Sa mga gawa ka, sa sarili mo, sa kaibigan mo. Please, kapag may nagkwento sa'yo na kaibigan mo, please take them as they share their feelings. Sabay 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 feelings. They may not be the complete facts. You take them as feelings. Papakinggan mo ka. Maniwala ka sa akin. That's their side of the story. Okay? At malamang sa hindi, hindi ito kompleto. Sinumaling ba sila? Hindi. Nung nagkwento sa'yo, they are preoccupied with their feelings. So natural yun, ang i-unload nila sa'yo. Yun ang kailangan nila ilabas eh. In my many years of counseling married people, ito ang napansin ko ha, pag nakausap po ang mga mag-asawa, there is always the man's side, and there's always the woman's side, and there's always the true side. <laughs> hindi dahil sinumaling yung dalawa ng hindi, may kanya-kanya silang pagtingin at madalas sa hindi, hindi ito kompleto. Kaya ang sinasabi ko minsan, jokingly, brother, yes, you are entitled to your opinion, but please remember that you're also entitled to your wrong opinion. <laughs> don't make the excuses, don't shift the blame, just honestly own up to any part that you have in the conflict, accept the responsibility for your mistakes, Ask for forgiveness. You want to start with that. May kita mo na di disarm yung kabila. Oh, 
Overcome the problem, not the person. So, basically, so being, Overcome the problem, not the person. You attack the problem, not the person. You cannot fix the problem if you're consumed with fixing the blame. You must choose kailangan pilihin mo between the two. Do you want to fix the problem or do you wish to fix the blame? The Bible says a gentle response diffuses anger but a sharp tongue kindles a temper fire. Anong ibig sabihin ito sa simple salita? Anong inyo ko ano? A soft <laughs> The soft answer is always better than the sarcastic one, period. In resolving a conflict, it's all how you say it is as important as what you say. How you say it is always as important as what you say. Ito ang natutunan ko. Tanungin niyo ako, no? If you say it offensively, it will be received defensively. Ulitin ko, ha? If you say it offensively, it will be received defensively. That's why the Bible said, a wise, mature person is known for his understanding. The more pleasant his words, the more persuasive he is. Nagging never works. Never do. Tanongin niyo mga mister niyo. O ito ang natutunan ko. Tanongin niyo ako ano? You're never persuasive when you're abrasive. Nagiging, di ba? Lalo. Sumasabit lalo eh. Father, nag-confess sa baba yung member ng LOJ. Father, please forgive me. Nag-away po kami ng friend ko because I was abrasive. Sabi niya nung pari, bago kita patawarin, iho, spell abrasive muna. <laughs> Sabi niya, Father, nagdasal na po ako kagabi, naniniwala po kung pinatawad na po pa ni Lord. Good night. <laughs> During the Cold War, hindi ko inabutan yan, ha? Tanungin nyo sila ite, ganyan, ganyan, sila, sila Apollo, yan, inabutan nila yan, sila Ferdy. Uh, ako, hindi ko inabutan yan. Pero sa aking pagbabasa, ha? kahit sa gera, both parties agreed that some weapons are so destructive that they should never be used at all. They're so destructive. Chemical and biological weapons are, are banned in the Cold War. So that's why stockpiles of nuclear weapons were reduced, if not totally destroyed. Are you looking at me? For the sake of the fellowship, we must destroy our arsenal of relational nuclear weapons. Meron yan at marami yan. Condemning, belittling, comparing, labeling, insulting, condescending, sarcasm. Sinabi ko sa misis ko, pag nag-aaway kami, inaaway ako ng misis ko. <laughs> so that only means na hindi siya palaging tama, di ba? Nakabidyo ba, bro? <laughs> Baka manapan ng misis ko. Alam ng misis ko na kahit anong lala ng away namin, hindi niya pwedeng sabihin, Fist builder ka pa naman. <laughs> Because that devastates me. That destroys me more than anything. So kaya pag nag-aaway kami, yan ang nuclear weapon, hindi niya gagamitin. <laughs> Kasi alam niya pag sinabi niya, ito gusto talaga. Devastates me. What are these? Diba? The Bible says, do not use harmful words, but only helpful words. The kind that builds up and provides what is needed, so that what you will say, do good to those who hear you. 
are, second to the last, relay feelings, not judgments. Sabay sabay sabihin. Relay feelings, not judgments. Ibig sabihin, cooperate as much as possible. Huh? Yun na lang gusto kong sabihin dito. The Bible says, do everything possible on your part to live at peace with everybody. Peace always has a price tag. May bayad ito. Sometimes it costs our pride. Pero kung gusto mo talaga, kailangan magbayad ka. It costs our self-centeredness. In resolving conflict, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, how you say it is as important as what you say. Ano ang technique dito? Tanungin niyo ako ano? In my corporate seminars, ang tawag ko dito, the I message. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng I message? Tanungin niyo ako ano? Ano? Don't use the words you kasi accusatory. Huwag mong sabihin, you hurt me. Rather than saying you hurt me, you say, I was hurt. Okay, ba kasi yan? Pag sinabi mong, you hurt me, inaakusahan mo yung tao na sinadya niya, nasaktan ka. Eh, hindi niya naman sinasadya eh. Malamang sa hindi. Ang sasabihin mo, I was hurt. So, alam niya na nasaktan siya. So, hindi mo siya inaakusahan na kahit ano. Sometimes you say, I feel. You relay feelings. And they would allow you to do that because you're not accusing anything. You don't say, you betrayed me. You say, I felt I was betrayed by what you did. Kasi pag sinabi mo, you betrayed me, bigla sabi, ay hindi, hindi ko pinagawa yan. Hindi mo alam, hindi mo naman sinabi. Kahit ano ang intention mo. Ang sinasabi ko lang sa'yo, ito ang naramdaman ko. And that's always a good talking point. Because you don't accuse anybody of anyone. Last, emphasize reconciliation, not resolution. Sabay sabay pa sa akin. Emphasize reconciliation, not resolution. It's always unrealistic to expect everything to agree about anything. Reconciliation focuses on the relationship while resolution focuses on the problem. When we focus on reconciliation, pansinin ninyo, more often than not, the problem loses its significance. Because you focus on the relationship. At mararamdaman mo parang yung problema naging irrelevant. Hindi siya pala ganun kalaki. We can reestablish relationship even when we are unable to resolve our differences. Maaring na naman tayo may diferensya eh. Maaring meron tayong honest disagreements. We may even have different political views. Di ba? May mga iba-iba tayong opinion sa mga bagay-bagay. May mga tanong na eh. May karapatang bang magka-cellphone ang mahihira? May iba-ibang opinion niya. Di ba? Sumugod na yung isang opinion niya, sabi niya, oo, oo naman. May karapatan ang mga may hirap na dapat may cellphone. In fact, bawal ka ang cellphone sa mga mayayaman eh. Sabi ko, bakit mo naman sa akin, Brad? Kasi, nung nag-dial ako ng telepono, ang sabi sa akin ng telepono, the subscriber cannot be rich. <laughs> Di ba? We have different, different, different opinions. In fact, sa mag-asawa, pag palagi kayong magkasundo at hindi kinag-aaway, one of you is not necessary. The fact na may sarili kayong isip, yung kambal na eh. Nag-aaway eh. May inayos lang ako na tampuhan ng kambal sa Manila eh. Sobrang tampo ng isa. Anong pinagmulan? Ng mga kapatid? Nakalimutan ang birthday ko. Pari naman, nakalimutan ang birthday ko. <laughs> God expects unity, not uniformity. We can walk arm in arm without seeing eye to eye. It can happen. We may not be on the same page, but at least we should be in the same book. Ang paalala ko ng 
about it doesn't mean that if you give up on finding the solution, you don't give up. You continue discussing, you even continue debating, but you can do that in the spirit of harmony. Yun lang naman ang gusto kong sabihin. O, tapusin na natin ito. Siya rin natin maraming sinasabi. Kaya ko ba ng powers nyo? Yes. Tanong. May tanong ako sa inyo, ha? Do you need? O dapat, nakatingin kayo sa akin. Sobrang importante itong tanong ko na ito. Do you need to contact someone as a result of this talk? Do you have someone that you need to restore fellowship with? Don't delay. Respect the process, the emotional process of the other person, but don't delay. Talk to God about this person. Pick up the phone. Begin the process. The steps that I shared with you are simple, but they are not easy. They're simple, but they're not easy. Kitain mo kung kinakailangan. Ha? Sabi ni Timo, pare, sa wakas na kita rin tayo dahil papatayin kita. <laughs> Sabi ni Boy, huwag mo kong patayin. Mahawa ka sa akin. Sabi ni Timo, basta papatayin kita. Sabi ni Boy, teka muna, bakit ba? Bakit mo ba akong gusto patayin? Sabi ni Timo, sinumpa ko sa sarili ko na kapag nakita ko ang kamukha ko, papatayin ko. <laughs> Sabi ni Boy, bakit? Kamukha ba kita? Sabi ni Timo, oo. Sabi ni Boy, kung ganun, sige na, patayin mo na ako. It takes a lot of sacrifice. Self-denial. But when you do it, you become more like Jesus. Amen. When you work for peace, you're actually what God does. That's why God calls us peacemakers. He calls peacemakers as children. Ito ang natutunan ko sa buhay. Tanungin niyo ako, ano? Ano? Conflicts will happen. Di ba? Nangyayari talaga yan. But God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. 